Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to show you how custom paths work. So first of all, I'm going to insert a picture. So if I go insert pictures from this computer, and this is the picture I want, a little dragoon. Picture of a dragoon, just make it a little bit smaller and push it into the top corner of the slide. Now, I'm going to get that one to dissolve in. So let's go to animations, activate the animation pane, and then add animation from here. And it sits in more animations. Dissolve in. OK. Now what I want that to do is to move across the screen following a motion path. So again, add animation. Now you've got some motion paths here. But this is the one I want, custom. Click on that and then just follow it across the screen or draw across the screen and when you want it to finish you double click and then it follows it across the screen like so so that is basically how you can use the custom motion pass but what if I want to do something a bit more business like so what I've got is an excel file open let me just grab this table, copy, come back into PowerPoint and paste it. Just sitting sits there like so. Now what I want is a circle to come around this figure or maybe this figure the total and then move across to that figure. So first of all I need to go insert shapes, get myself a circle. You need to hold the shift key down to get a circle to make that oval shape go into a circle. And then I need to remove the shape fill, no fill. And I probably need to make the outline a bit thicker than that, like so. And then let's just sit this over here. And I'm going to get that to dissolve in. So animations again, add animation more entrance effects dissolve in you can pick whichever one you want so it's going to dissolve in then i want it to move to there and then pulse so what i now need to do is go add animation motion pass but the one i want isn't there more motion pass the one i want is to move to the right which is that one so i'll click that one okay and then you see it's going nearly to the right. So I'm just going to pick up this little circle and just push it across a little bit, like so. Then I want it to pulse. So pulse. And I want it to pulse 10 times. So I'm going into effect options and timing. And you've got 10. Repeat 10 times. Get the right place, not the duration. Repeat 10 times. OK, so that's it. Pulsing. So if I play from the top, so the circle should dissolve in, moves across, and then flashes or pulses 10 times. So that's just a very quick little video of how you can utilize the motion paths, either with a custom path where you're getting a thing to follow your scribble, or in this example, more of a business example, where the motion path is working in conjunction with your mouse click and focusing on a particular part, in this case, a table. So hopefully you found that of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.